Hey, this is Brian, and today we're gonna show you how to change those faded and cracked M badges from this to this. Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Now, if you have an early M3 or M4, you probably have little seat badges that look like this. And if yours are like mine, they're cracked, they're faded, they look shattered, and they look horrible. Well, the good news is, if you're under warranty, BMW will replace them with these nice black ones. For the M3, you get the M3 version. For the M4, you get the M4. Well, if you're like me, I'm out of warranty. So today, I'm gonna to show you how quick and easy it is to change out your badges from this to this. Now, just to give you that before and after, we've already done the passenger side, and man, this thing is so easy. We decided it wasn't even worth pulling the car in because we'd be done by the time we get the car all set up. So, the first thing you need to do is get the seat in a position where you can access this seam. The reason for that is we're going to very carefully pull off the leather and remove the foam. We're just gonna slide it out of the way. We're not actually fully removing it. So what BMW does is they sew a little piece of plastic piping into the end of the leather. So again, we're not gonna even use any trim tools. If you take it and just roll it off like this, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So as you can see, there's just this plastic and the way that this is held in is literally they just get it, they tuck it in like that, and if you need to remove it, you just very carefully roll it off like that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just continue. We're gonna go up, over, and around. So basically we can get the, the top third of the seat and fold it down. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna take this and you're gonna fold it down and you're going to grab this foam and you're going to very carefully fold this down as well. Okay, so as you can see, the wire comes in the seat here, it goes down, it's held in with a zip tie and then it's plugged in over here. So I'm gonna start, I have some scissors, I'm going to just very carefully cut this zip tie. It's gonna be impossible for you to see, but. There's only one zip tie, so just reach down and just carefully cut that. Then over here, there's a little connection. Basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna push in this little tab right there, and that's gonna slide up just like that. Now the next portion is going to be very difficult to show, but I'm gonna do the best I can outside of the car. So right now, it's only held in by this clip and this clip. What I like to do, I like to grab it from the outside. So again, you're gonna grab it from this side here, and then I stick my finger in and I push down one clip and I get it undone. And then I press up on that clip and I pop that side out. And then I do the exact same thing on the other side. So once again, we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna apply outward pressure. Okay. I got the one clip out. Okay, and there's the second one. So if you take a look over here, you can see that I have half the badge out. So then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, okay? And then you can just literally take it and pull it straight out. Now we can take our new M badge. You're gonna take the center and you're gonna feed it right here through the center. It's gonna come out the back, just like that. Now I'm gonna clip it into place. So you wanna make sure that everything is in the right orientation and then you just Push on it like that, and it's gonna clip and snap right in. Then you take your wire, you bend it down like this. You're gonna take your plug, you're gonna plug it in. Make sure that this little piece right there is facing you. You go like that. And then to secure this in, we have a little zip tie. Then you can just tie that down, and then just trim the excess. And then you're just going to take this plastic right here and you're just going to very carefully bend it over and then just roll it in. Okay, so very carefully just take it and you're gonna just roll it in just like that. Okay.
I like to kind of get it in place and then go back and snap it all in. Some, some of it I flip in, but some of it I save for later. Okay. And then just push it in and make sure everything clips in. All right, let's remove the tape and then we're done. Now to show you what it looks like illuminated, we pulled the car out from the sunny outside into our shop. We shut down the lights and check it out. So as you just saw, it is so easy to change out those old faded and cracked badges to these amazing looking M3 and M4 badges. So once again, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you're interested in any of the parts or tools, I guess the only tool we really use was scissors, uh, but be sure to see the links down in the description. We'll have links to everything for the M3 and also the M4 ones. If you haven't done so already, be sure to give us a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.